Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So today I'm going to be planting some lettuce. This is leaf lettuce. The specific type is prize head, it's called. I grow this for microgreens, which I have to show you guys sometime about that. Boy, my rooster is loud today. I apologize. But I've got this pot of soil that I had grown some potatoes in that I just harvested. Um, if you could call it a harvest, I got a very small amount of potatoes. But potatoes are notorious for making soil... Um, it, like robbing all the nutrients out of soil. So I'm going to rejuvenate this soil a little bit with some natural products here. So I got blood meal that's going to boost the nitrogen content, which is very important for lettuce. They, you're pretty much only looking to harvest it for the leafy greens. So you want healthy leafy greens. I'm going to get a pretty good handful here and sprinkle it around, work it into the soil. I might actually do a second here. All right, so work that in. I'm also going to do some bone meal. So bone meal helps promote root growth. So we want that kind of right starting off here. We don't need a lot, but I'm going to put a little bit in. And then we'll just do a little sprinkle of this natural uh, 573 fertilizer. So, I mean, it's going to have a little bit of each of that stuff, but... It's also going to have the potassium. And then, one last thing. I've got very, very alkaline soil. Um, lettuce likes to be at 6.0, from what I hear. And this, um, I, I've got like 8. And so this is some kind of soil acidifier. It says 1 tablespoon per 4 inches a pot. So, we'll just sprinkle that around. Stir it in. And there we go. <laughs> Boy, I can taste that sulfur. So it's made with sulfur. Yuck. All right, so next we're just going to sprinkle some of this. I mean, lettuce is not, not hard to grow. It's really simple. So we're just going to sprinkle a few. We can always thin them out later. There we go. That should be plenty to grow here. The nice thing about leaf lettuce, I mean, we are in November here. And leaf lettuce tends to do a little better than head lettuce when it comes to growing in the winter. Um, they handle frosts a little better. I mean, nothing's going to handle a hard freeze. But they will handle frost. And it's easier to pick some leaves off of it. You're not really growing it for the head. You're growing it for the leaves. So we can utilize it until frost comes. If it dies back, it dies back. At least we'll get some harvest off of it instead of waiting for a big head on it. So now we're going to water it in. So yeah, I basically just sprinkled the seeds on top and then brushed them in. And this is quite dry soil right now because it sat out for a couple days after planting the potatoes. So it's hydrophobic right now. It'll take a while for this to soak in. I might come in and spray it a couple times. So as you guys can see, it's November 7th. That way we can see how fast these take to pop up. It is November 5th. And it's a beautiful, going to be 75 degree day here in Texas in the middle of November. The lettuce finally sprouted so we've got quite a bit i'll let these grow up a little bit and then i'll have to thin them out once i figure out which ones are the better starts here but there we go so i just basically seeded them i i was watering from this side and there's no seedlings here at all they all got pushed over to this side when i was watering so unfortunately that happened i'll bring you guys back in in about a week all right it is November 21st. I just watered these and they kind of fell over here, but um, this is the lettuce. It all popped up. A lot of it is doing really well. This is 14 days since I planted, but I've already got two true leaves coming up on some of these. And these should grow really well on this soil. Um, there's really no disease from potatoes that should transfer over to the lettuce. Now I'm going to let these continue to grow and then I'll thin them out in a little little while and I can bring you guys back if you're interested on thinning these out you can watch that um, I won't thin them out too much though they are a leaf lettuce so these are gonna be pick and come again kind of 
thing where I'm going to pick leaves off, eat them, and then come back once they grow more. So they can be a little bit tighter together, we're not growing big large heads here, so that works out really well for this. And that way I'm not wasting soil. I really like this because I'm reusing it on plants that aren't going to be hindered by the disease that might be growing from the potatoes. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification for future video updates. And if you could hit that like button, it would really help out the channel. I will see you on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.